Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'm just going to show you guys some detailing stuff that I learned on my car. Um, a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not a professional so I don't actually recommend that you guys try this unless you feel a little bit confident with the buffer and this isn't going to give you paint correction, it's just some tricks to help you guys get your car looking good for shows or whatever. So I've been invited to uh, S Chassis um, gathering inside of Falls and Rotaries this year and um, natural light is a lot easier on your car than artificial light so I just want to polish some of the swirl marks and all that out of my car and I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. As you can see looking at the car from this side the paint looks fine but if we go over here hopefully the camera will pick up. From this angle you can kind of see all the water marks and the swirl marks just from washing the car. So today we're just going to get rid of those and yesterday um, I also went to a car meet so I did this yesterday but you guys will see it still. I polished my headlights to make them no longer yellow to give them that clear look. Now first of all when you're doing stuff like this, any cut and polishing, you guys are going to want to tape off um, any sort of rubber or anything on your car because I'm not sure if you guys are going to be using the exact polishing products that I use but I'm only safe to assume that you won't be. Um, Mine are water based so they won't actually stain this but if you're not using a water based product they can stain this so it's easier just to get masking tape going to run it all the way along and around I've done it here on the bonnet with some of my window washers um, also you probably want to remove any badges and stuff like that that you have just so you can polish properly under there um, I don't know if you can see in the light maybe if I run across it you can't really see inside here with this lighting but we're going to polish a piece um, I'm not going to show you everything because it's going to be boring if I show you me polishing the whole car so I'll just do some pieces of it move it outside and we'll do a bit of a comparison and then yeah we'll show you the finished result once it's all done now when you guys are doing this you guys are only going to do a small area so you do not want to polish the whole bonnet um, you just want to polish like a section roughly about this big then you want to use your microfiber clean one wipe it down um, and move on to the next section also don't do this in the sun and make sure you get all your polish off before you put it in the sun because this will burn into your paint and it turns yuck so yeah we're just going to do small sections of the cut whole way along the bonnet the whole thing then we're going to go do our polish or like our buff i should say and then we're going to go on to our finishing polish which will give it that real good shine So I've gone through and I've cut the whole bonnet and now I'm using my buffing pad and you can see where the buff marks are here and where I've wiped it a little bit and you can see through the light there that it is nice and shiny and there's no swirl marks so I'm going to go through now and do the whole bonnet to get rid of the cut, see the cut marks there get rid of the cut marks and then finally polish and this whole bonnet shall be done. So I'm just going to show you guys the pattern that you use um, or that you do when you're polishing. So 
This is just um, a rough sort of pattern across the bonnet here using the polish. As you can see, I've gone right to left very slowly. You can tell by how many swirls are in the paint there. Um, you don't want to have your buffer on a high speed and you want to be careful when you're running up to edges like this that you're not actually pressing on them. And same with here on the edge of your bonnet. You don't want to be pressing too hard on the edge of the bonnet as polish is actually uh, abrasive so it could pull the edge of the paint off and that'll make it look crap. So yeah, just be careful when using a buffer next to the edge of your bonnet because you will pull the paint. Um, so just go gently. Also, don't apply lots of force. You kind of just want to run it across sort of like machine weight. You're just using your hands to guide it. So I've just finished buffing the bonnet and I'm just going to show you with the torch um, under some artificial light what the bonnet came out like. So here with my torch on it, move it across you can see the paint. There's still the odd imperfection there like the stone chip and stuff like that but it's pretty good for just a quick cut and a buff. Um, so now we're going to polish the spit now that we've buffed it and the bonnet will be done. I'm also going to show you the boot lid just quickly under the light so that way you guys can see the scratches that I've taken out um, just as a little bit of comparison. So if I can pick it up there with the torch you can see the rain dots and sort of the scratches and stuff like that. Um, this car has been washed so these are all actually in the clear. You can see if I move my torch across it. So after we've finished this should look like the bonnet which looks like that. So now we're going to use our finishing pad and our finishing polish and we're going to finish polish the bonnet and we're done. And then this should look good for the show and look good under artificial light and in the sunlight. Um, when you're at a show you might put some wax on that'll just give it like a bit of a like quick shine like a detailing wax it's also good just because you know you're driving to and from a show so it's going to get a little bit dirty detailing wax will bring this up and give it a really good shine and you won't have to cut and polish the whole car again so we'll start polishing this now and we'll just show you the technique So if you guys can't tell, same video, different day, um, I'm still working on polishing this S15, my S15 I should say, I don't know why I said this S15, um, and yeah, I'm just going to give you an update on whereabouts, I actually am more doing this, so, so far, um, it's probably taken me about 10 hours to get it where it is, so yeah, I'll show you where we're at. So, I've done the whole roof. Um, the roof spoiler, rear quarters, see in there, um, the boot, this is my friend Stacy's boot lid, thanks Stacy for letting me borrow this aero wing, so I actually took the spoiler off to get under here properly and all under here properly, it's the best way to go about it. Um, yeah, done basically this whole side. As you'll notice the fuel flaps missing it so I can get a new bumper. Um, this one's all dented along here, I don't really like it, so new bumper well. Was, well, Forza and Rotaries is pushing me to get a new bumper so that way it's all clean, so fuel flap to colour match it. Um, whole side, so this whole side here is done. And also this mirror. So yeah, we're getting there pretty, uh, pretty quickly. 
um, it's coming along good, but I think I'm going to have to polish it um, with just the polish it on Friday, just quickly before I go to the show. Uh, here's the other mirror here. See how it's all faded. Um, I'll just show you quickly how I did that. So I just grabbed this polish here, but it'll work with basically any polish. This is a Phoenix or one step polish. Um, grabbed this, grabbed a rag, and I basically just took a little bit of polish. See it on the end there? And you sort of just use your hand, give it a quick rub over. As you can see, it's sort of a little bit shinier now. I've, I didn't have enough on the rag then, but just giving you a demonstration. But this is how you get mirrors in these pieces here, along here, and obviously in like door handle areas, these get really scratched from your fingernails and stuff. You can see it there. Um, so yeah, a little bit of polish on here. Go like that. Should be mint. No one's really gonna look too closely in there, but it just sort of makes the inside of the handle look like the rest of the door. So I'm just gonna keep polishing now and then I'll give you guys an update when I'm all finished on Friday, just before the show, and then you guys will see footage sitting up at the show and then hopefully of some of the cars, I need to ask for some rotaries about this, but some of the cars at the show before the massive crowd. So I'm gonna do a vlog style video there to have a talk to some people hopefully and just show you guys um, all the stuff there. So yeah, I'll keep cracking on with this and We'll update you when we're uh, pretty much done. What's up? Uh, I just finished cutting and polishing um, the car, so I'll just show you guys around it now and give you a bit of an update. So here she is. Looking fresh. I did the lights as well, um, just to get them popping. I see the bonnet, the guards. I've got some pencil paint for these corners here that you can see. So here's that mirror I showed you earlier as well. With the light hand polish, not amazing, but better than it was. Come around the back. Uh, I haven't done the rear bumper because I'm getting the new one like I was saying um, and the end caps I haven't done because I'm going to take them off and put when I have to change the bumper over so yeah she's basically show ready just show you the other side real quick there are No fuel flat for the colour match, obviously, but yeah, pretty stoked with how she's come out. So yeah, that's just a quick um, detailing video for you guys, just showing you the steps that I do to go through cut and polishing. And again, I'm not a professional, I'm just, um, I don't know what to say really, I just sort of do it for fun, but yeah, this is all the tricks and tips that I've learnt over the years of doing it, so hope you guys can apply this to your car and hope you guys learn something. Um, you guys can see this car at Forza Motories on Saturday. This video is probably going to be going up on Saturday morning or Friday night. So yeah, hopefully it's enough time for you guys to pop in and have a look and see what I've done. Obviously it is 20 year old paint so it's not amazing but yeah, I just tried to get it the best I can for the show. So yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, please drop a comment below, um, give it a like and subscribe and if you have any questions you can uh, comment below or hit me up on Instagram, it's um, just Alex W. Berry. Um, yeah, it's just the easiest way to get in contact with me. So yeah, thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one.